When I was a kid, I thought the best car on the planet was Kit from the TV show Knight Rider. I mean, that car was brilliant. You could never get lost because it had dynamic navigation. You could watch a movie. You could do video conferencing and a whole load of other things. The stuff of fantasy. Well, not quite. I went along to the Adobe Max conference in Los Angeles this year and met the QNX team. They've come up with a car system which can pretty much do what Kit could do. Well, apart from turbo boost and all that driving stuff. But as an in-car provider of cloud services, it's pretty good. Made with Flash Lite and Flash CS4 Professional, Photoshop and Illustrator, just proving how versatile those bits of Kit can be. Hi, my name is Andrew Poliak. I'm with QNX Software. What I'm going to show you is the QNX Connected Automotive Reference to show how you can leverage Flash content, Flash as a user interface development tool, and HTML5 in a vehicle application, and deploy an application platform that can keep the, the vehicle brand fresh and current even post production. So, what we've done is we've used Flashlight from Adobe to implement an HMI development environment that you can actually take and reach skin and rebrand so every car company can change the look and feel, make the brand experience their own, but then leverage the flash environment that's running in the vehicle to allow for standard flash applications to work in the vehicle as more of an application platform. So we've also added WebKit as a browser interface that you can also use off-board content and browse the web and get location-based services in the vehicle as well. So on the vehicle here, we're at a home screen and this is all rendered in flashlight. We'll click on a couple of the different functions. So first of all is a communication function. This is used for interacting with your mobile handset with Bluetooth for making either connection through your Bluetooth enabled phone or to make hands-free calling and things like that. We also, for the, the internet and flash enthusiasts, we've added in here a number of flash applications, both local applications and just standard flashlight developed applications that can drop right into the car and run. For example, Atlantic Records has an application written in Flashlight called Fanbase that allows you to track your favorite artist, find out about their blogs, uh, interact with content and experiences from that particular brand or artist. We also have uh, other standard internet applications such as YouTube where you can actually watch YouTube videos in the vehicle. It repurposes it for a large display. Uh, we've also done some enhancements to Flash that allows it to be particularly optimized for the type of processors and screens that would be in a vehicle. For example, we've made it that you can quickly scroll through all of the content. We've added some enhancements to Flashlight to do that. We also combine different layers so you can actually have a video running in a layer and interact with that video using flash controls. So all the controls along the video display are all in flash, but the video itself is running in a separate layer. And that can be used not only with flash type videos, but also with MPEG-4, H.264, or DVDs, or whatever it might be. There's standard flash applications, like our virtual Chumbi application. So it's connecting to these little widgets that are in Chumbi that you can go through between uh, the, the Onion. It's got different webcams. So there's games. That's a game channel. There's a, uh, and these are live going over the internet to off-board content services, but there's also webcams for the Vancouver Aquarium, for the Denver Zoo, San Diego Zoo. Uh, here's one right here, the panda cam from the San Diego Zoo, where we can watch, watch a panda live. How many of these would be appropriate for a driver is... Uh, and then definitely up for debate, <laughs> but many of these features you'll find in the rear seat entertainment or the passenger displays. So, going back to some of the other applications, so you can see how you can use Flash to render things like uh, home automation from your vehicle, be able to control things in different rooms of your house, whether it's turning on and off table lamps or uh, controlling your security system or whatever it might be. And we've also de developed an application store that we are not trying to be an application store in and of itself, 
but we're trying to enable vehicle manufacturers to control the content and information in a way that they could decide to work with an open store from Adobe. They could have their own branded store. For example, we're in a Toyota Prius right now. They could have a Toyota store that you could download new content and applications specific to the vehicle that can be branded through Toyota and also managed for things like driver distraction like we just talked about or what's appropriate for which particular viewing uh, spot in the vehicle. Our application store, again, this would be, we would provide this in full source code for the car company or their provider or partner to manage and develop and deploy applications. But we've done a prototype that's off running right now that we can download, like for example, and we just made up prices, but you can download an FM radio that's run through a USB stick and install it or uninstall it right there. We're combining Google Maps Mobile with Flash to uh, do all the inputs for things like gas stations or other information about the current location that you're in and use Flash to help control the environment to render on top of that HTML based uh, uh, browser window that's rendering Google Maps. So in one layer you have Google Maps, in the other layer you're running Flash. You can have things showing road conditions where it's actually transmitting into and out of the vehicle information that's going on that can be displayed to other drivers that are driving that particular stretch of road. Uh, you can do things like show the uh, uh, audio control. So again, this is a more creative way of using Flash to interact with the balance and fader in the vehicle. So you can actually control very easily the balance, fade type functions. And a lot better user interface than you traditionally find in automotive applications. So what's next? Uh, what, what we've done at Cunix is built this as a reference impl implementation. And even though our software is already in over 10 million vehicles and everything from GM OnStar to Audi systems to BMW to Lexus, uh, this is the future of where it's going around creating application platforms that once the system is deployed in a vehicle and it has a ubiquitous connectivity, you'll suddenly have this rich enablement that'll allow vehicles to be relevant post-production. You'll be able to do updates live. No longer will the vehicle be stagnant with old map data, with old content. It'll continuously evolve as the end user wants more and more features available in their vehicle. So the next round, we've, de we've developed this as a prototype. We've been sending this out to the major car companies and tier one suppliers to the automotive industry. And the first time you'll find software based on this technology will be model year 2011. So in the automotive industry, that's pretty quick.